The way you view this one thing can make all the difference in the world in if you are successful as an artist or not. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind Law Cree Fine Art. Let me know, pause this video and let me know in the comments, what do you think is the single thing that will impact whether or not you are successful as an artist? Is it the art supplies? Is it the amount of time you spend practicing? What is it that you think will impact your career more than anything else? Go ahead, I'll wait. I got a message this week, which is one of the most common things I'm asked. It comes up if you watch my live streams, you know it comes up in every live stream. If you are feeling this way, it is so common. Christine writes, I need to ask, what do you do when you can't draw? I've lost my need to draw. I want to, I just can't. I don't know why or what's happening. I just can't get motivated. So I'm gonna let you in on a little trade secret. This idea of art and needing to be motivated, there's like this, this concept that art is a nonstop spa headspace you're gonna be in where you're super creative, you're having these ideas, there's this magic fairy dust going around, there's something like just happening that is unique only to artists. Yeah, no, this concept of motivation in order to be successful is bull. The waste produced from a bull. I suspect it's the same people who tried to tell us that artists shouldn't be paid or make money. They should do it for the love of the art. I think they're the same people who started this concept of we need to be motivated in the mood to create. No, most of what you do as an artist, there is a creative aspect where you'll, you'll be in that headspace where you're just coming up with great ideas, idea after idea. It's wonderful when that happens. That's not the majority of what we do. The majority of what we do is very technical. So we come up with this great idea and then the technical side kicks in. So you don't even need to be in that headspace where you've got all of these great ideas. You just need to go do the technical side of things. The reality is with anything it is you wanna do in life, with any goal, like you said, you want to do it. You're just not, not that you're not motivated. With anything in life, it's about self-discipline and showing up and doing the work. It doesn't matter if you're motivated. It doesn't matter if you're in the mood. Not many people are in the mood to go to the gym. Not many people are in the mood to go to work, no matter what job. And it's not even a lack of, well, then you're just not passionate about art. No, that has nothing to do with it. I love playing violin. I am rarely motivated to go practice. I just have to get up and go do it if I want to get that done. Motivation is a fairy tale concept that has very, very little to do with getting your work done. If you can't think of something to paint or draw, head over to Pixabay or Unsplash, they're royalty free, free websites that you can just find anything, go get to the easel and start drawing that thing. It doesn't need to be the, the most amazing creative idea you ever came up with. The point is you need to be at that easel because that motivation, that those feelings, uh, those great ideas, those are gonna hit while you're working. Those will hit at the easel. They're not gonna hit while you're sitting there watching Seinfeld or whatever weird show you kids like these days. I'm glad my husband didn't just hear me say that. He loves Seinfeld. I don't get it. But if you wanna be an artist, you're saying you wanna draw. You need to get up and go do it. Stop waiting around for ideas to smack you in the face. It's not going to happen very often. If you wait for that to happen, you are gonna produce almost no artwork in your life. You want to get good. You want to produce amazing artwork. You head to the easel and you do it whether you're in the mood or not. You set a time. I know I'm free between 7 and 9 p.m. tonight. I am going to go draw. It doesn't matter if I'm in the mood. It doesn't matter if I would rather go watch TV or play video games or whatever. This is the schedule I have set for myself. You want to be successful in anything in life? That has to do with your self-discipline and your determination to do the work whether you're in the mood or not. Those are going to be the artist or whatever job. That is going to be the thing that is going to get you you to that end goal. You think doctors are always in the mood to go to work? You think as they were learning to be doctors and studying and the work that went into that, that they were always in the mood for it? No, probably very rarely, but they set a goal for themselves and they worked their butts off to achieve it. They didn't sit around going, eh, I'll study when I'm motivated. Eh, I'll go to work and save people's lives when I'm motivated. Eh, I'll wait till I'm, mo I'm not motivated today. It doesn't work that way. I don't know why people think that it's different with art. If you want to accomplish something, you start Stop waiting around for this concept of fairy tale motivation and you go do the work. Husband, did you take out the trash? Not really feeling motivated today. I think I want to get one of those. Hey, can you catch a cleaner shrimp for me? I'm not motivated today. Husband, did you go to work today? I wasn't feeling motivated. Gibson, did you even get your walk today?
Have you subscribed yet? If not, I have a handy button right there. It's around, has an orange arrow going towards it. If you click on that, that'll help you to keep up to date with all of my new art videos every single week. Also click on the bell notification icon because YouTube is terrible about letting people know when new content is available. I also have an email newsletter I send out once a week that will also let you know what new videos I had go live.